Hello and welcome to the Internet Art Exhibition, where I find art on the internet and make fun of it. Because children drew it, and I like to make fun of children. I also steal candy from babies, and then beat the shit out of them. First up, we've got something edgier than my intro, zing. Uh, it's a Sonic OC, or an Undertale OC, or a Sonic Undertale OC, or a Sundertale OC. Um, it's got an ammo pouch and a bandage. Why does a skeleton need a bandage? Skeletons don't bleed. It's not like he's fucking holding his arm together. It's not like he's fucking bleeding all over the place. Oh wait, maybe he cut himself on how fucking edgy he is, and that's why he needs the bandage. This is taking a lot from the, um, from the, uh, let's, uh, let's call it the Digimon School of Art. He's got a pouch, he's got a bandage, and he's got a lot of black. Let's not forget the fingerless gloves and the fucking MC Hammer Pants. Mm, really adds a level to that. Also, the flame hair. Let's not forget the ever-important Digimon flame hair. And, uh, the red, sparkling death eyes. Mm, four knives out of ten. Next up, we have this truly wonderful piece, Timmy's Dad vs. Dingleberg. <laughs> Get it? Cause Dingleberg from the Fairly Odd Parents sounds like, like Dingle, and uh, Dingle, ting, Dingle, Dingle's a boss in, uh, in, uh, Binding of Isaac. Do you, do you get it yet? Do you understand yet? I just, I fucking, this is stupid. It's not even well drawn. He didn't even draw it. He just used Photoshop. Or, more appropriately, MS Paint. Or maybe even GIMP, that very popular software that everybody uses. I'm gonna give this a 4 out of 10 because I don't give a shit. Now we have this wonderful Metabot se sex love comic, I, mm, drawn in 2015. This is a Metabot comic drawn in 2015. This is a comic about Metabots. Do you know what Metabots are? Are you too young for that yet? I want you to go and Google Metabots right now. It was a cartoon back when I was a fucking kid, and the main reason this cartoon or anime, I don't fucking know, existed is to sell toys. These toys were robots with detachable parts. The main part of Metabots was that the robots, when you fought each other, you lost, and you had to get a part from the loser to put on your robot to make him better, and then, um, I don't know, the, the toy products probably failed because a lot of kids didn't want to give other kids their toy parts, because that's stupid, you spend like $14 on a piece of fucking plastic and expect to give the little fucking Jimmy down the road, like, part of your plastic, that's just stupid, little Jimmy doesn't deserve this, my mom spent money on this, fuck Jimmy, he can go fuck himself. You can stretch out again now, comfy, yap. Good. I'm all out alone. I'm so lost without you. You're feeling... How, how are you feeling, by the way? Um, okay. Awesome. Aw, B. There's a meta B. That's, that's the character's name. I'm gonna give this seven interchangeable parts out of ten. Next up is an Overwatch fart fetish comic that I'm gonna have to edit to fit into my, uh, my uh, actual video here, because it's so, it's so shittily done. If you want me to stop, all you have to do is swallow one. Tracer wants Scout to swallow her farts. Someone went into Gmod or Source Filmmaker and decided that they, they really wanted to see Tracer have Scout from TF2 eat her farts. They really wanted to see Scout eat Tracer's farts. Let me just, let me just say this real quick. Someone wanted Scout to eat Tracer's farts. Let's uh, read this, shall we? Please, no. I'll give you anything else. I could just suffocate you to death. Huh. Uh, Good boy, gurgle, oomph, bombs away. Is she farting in his mouth, or is she just shitting in his mouth through her clothes? <sniffs> ha, I bet you wish that was all of it. Uh, mm, <sniffs> ah, that's a relief. Now swallow. <sniffs> uh, oh, know how I said that I'd stop afterward? I lied. <laughs> mm. Mm. You know what, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, kick it off. Let's kick off our Overwatch lightning round, shall we? First, I'm going to give that Tracer comic a uh, 2 out of 10, because uh, fuck that. But let's kick off our lightning round now, shall we? All of us boys are at war now. Uh, 21 out of 76. Ah yes, the Sanctimonious Trio. Five Nights at Freddy's Genji from Overwatch and some bitch. She looks like the main character from Hydrophobia. It's a really bad indie game. I, I don't think she's from Hydrophobia. I don't know what the fuck she's from. Uh, let's give it a 2 out of 10. Oh man, I'm really into this video game called Overwatch. My friends are in My Little Ponies as well as I and all my friends have OC ponies. So let's take my friends OC ponies and draw them in pixel art into Overwatch. 
four out of ten. Nobody's nobody's a hero. Nobody's a hero. Nobody's dead. Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. I want to kill myself. Oh boy, oh boy. My favorite thing is is a overweight May and she's farting. Also, ha 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 ha. Help! I feel all chubby. Did I just fart? You. <laughs> oh, gross. Great. Zero out of ten. Go fuck yourself. Oh yes, it's Overwatch. The boy, my favorite kind of boy. The boy with the two Hellfire shotguns. Oh, look at that great meme. That PNG image. Mm mm. Tastes so good. All I have to say about this is why, why, why. <clears throat> so on zero Overwatch lightning round. Uh, that's, that's it. It's, it's over. Uh, thank God it's done. I don't have to ever see any of those images ever again uh, until I start editing this video. What have I done? Why have I done this? This next image is uh, quite uh, an interesting one. I believe... Uh, I believe this is what furries call sparkle dogs. I have a friend who is a furry and he has mentioned this a couple times. It's people who go out of the way to be over original. I'm pretty sure all of the text is ironic. Like I'm 900% sure all the text is ironic, but uh, that picture, that picture is making me hemorrhage. That picture is giving me hemorrhoids. My ass is going to fall apart at any second here. Let me just read some of the, oh yeah, she is perfectly symmetrical. Blue on tail tip symbolizes her love for water. She also has a cutie mark. Is a icicle, is a gear, is a raised stockings. She's also a cheetah. She loves drugs. She loves rainbows. And she's also biomechanical. Let's not forget about the biomechanical. That's a really important part. I'm going to give this like a 2 out of 13. I don't, numbers, man. I don't fucking care anymore. Since I don't want to do any research because I'm a lazy piece of shit, this next picture, I don't know if it's an actual so sellable product or if it's an artist's reinterpretation or something, it just kind of makes me want to throw up a little bit in my mouth, you know? It's kind of making me have flashbacks to the war, you know, the before times, the bad times, the uh, times of my life that I don't want to talk about anymore. <sighs> ten repressed memories out of ten. Oh man, rip Nintendo president Satoru Iwata, you will be missed. DeviantArt really knows how to handle these things with tender love and care, don't they? You know, to someone, this would seem like a tribute, but it just feels incredibly wrong. Like, something about this image just sets me off. It just makes me angry that someone took the time out of their day to make this. Like... Like, they just posed some characters with some bananas, because that's a funny, funny meme from when Iwata was still with us. And it just, it just, you know, it, something about this image just infuriates me to the core. Negative 10 out of 10. So this next one, I found, um, I, I was look, looking through new on DeviantArt, and this is apparently one Punch Man fan art. <laughs> just, he's Saitama, the hero for hire. <laughs> this looks so fucking... <laughs> <laughs> <You're> just... <laughs> My roommate heard me, and now he's in tears. He just looked over and saw this, and now his face is just... <laughs> I think I fucking killed him. I'm gonna give this a James out of Sullivan. You know what my favorite thing is on DeviantArt? Fake DVD covers. I mean, look at this. Look at this eccentric, exquisite piece. We've got the South Park boys. We've got Doc Brown and Marty McFly. We've got the car that just says Great Scott and South Park font. You have the little DVD logo. I don't know what they were trying to go for here. It's like the South Park background is there and they tried to, like, cut them out of it. But you can just Google the South Park characters in PNG and you can find source files for all of their characters. So I don't know what they're trying to do. Like, I don't know what this is for. From? It's... <laughs> and instead of, like, googling a DeLorean, they just took this car that was already in this image and just painted it gray. You can just see the background still peeking out. How did they just look at this and say, Yeah, this is good. I think this is complete. I think I'm finally finished with my great piece of artwork. I, I, I think I'm finally done here. I, I, I think I've really done a good job with this. I'm proud of what I've done. How can you be proud of this? How can you ever be proud of this? And I have the answer to that. Uh, you're a child. Your kid. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna shit on this guy, because it's obviously some some kid that made this, you know? It's just, it's fucking obvious. If this wasn't a child, if this was a fully grown man who thought this was cool, if you're a fully grown man without any man mentally handicaps, and you thought this was a great idea, uh, I just have one word to say to you, uh, fuck. That's my rating. My rating is fuck. That's, that's, that's all it is.
All right, this is the last one for tonight. I'm, I'm going to stop bombarding you with pain. This one is Pregnant Luigi. It's, it's just Luigi from the Super Mario Brothers. Pregnant. I can't wait to see my baby girl. I, I can't wait for you to figure out that you're going to need a C-section to have that baby. Or that that's not a baby girl, Luigi. What if that's a tumor? And you're going to die because men can't have babies. But let me let me throw this at you, Brun Daniel. He's a fictional man, so does it count? My answer to that is yes. It still counts. Mario Brothers has science in it. Doctor Doctor Mario is an esteemed doctor of medicine, probably. Uh, and I I assume that Luigi can't have a baby. Let me just let me just put that out there. Let me crush your dreams. Luigi can't have a baby. That's Brun Daniel law. I've I've written it down. It's set in stone. Luigi cannot have a baby. That's, that's just all I gotta say about that. Just I don't even have a rating for this one. I just don't want to see it anymore. It's just, it just get it away from me. Get it away from me. Take it away. Just take it away. I'm done. I'm just, I'm done. I mean, go grab the gun and just end it all, you know? Take a, take a good gander at what the world has brought. And, uh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos. They're also as painful as this one in more ways than one. If you want to watch another internet art exhibition, click up in the top right hand corner. If you want to watch a video that has nothing to do with my channel whatsoever, click in the bottom left hand corner. If you want to buy shirts and shit, that's up in the top left hand corner. And I also have a Patreon because I'm a garbage human being. And that's at the bottom right hand corner. All right, bye. I gotta go get that gun I was talking about earlier. Let me just tiptoe down to the supermarket and pick myself up a two piece. Uh, by two piece, I mean two nine millimeters and some bullets, you know? So, that uh, sounds good.